Okay, here's the big one. One of the most complex ones that we have. Faulty pronoun reference. Think about what a pronoun does. A pronoun substitutes for a noun, and it forces your reader to think back to the noun it is replacing. That mental jump must take place instantaneously, or your reader becomes confused. In other words, if your reader has to pause for more than a nanosecond to figure out the antecedent of that pronoun, you're in trouble. Here's some examples. First one is ambiguous reference. That's when a pronoun refers to two possible antecedents, therefore making your reader guess or simply give up saying, I don't know which is meant. When Dayu inserted her card into the card reader, it broke. What broke? The card or the card reader? So let's revise that to clarify which is meant. The card reader broke or Dayu's card broke. Here is implied reference. This is where the pronoun does not refer to a specific antecedent. It refers to a word that is implied by the previous construction. Examples. After braiding Tamika's hair, Angelo decorated them. Decorated them? Ah, you see, them refers to braids, but braids is only implied in braiding. It is a noun that is implied. So, you can't refer to an implied one. Go ahead and say the actual noun. Angelo decorated the braids. You could say, after putting braids into Mika's hair, Angelo decorated them. That would give you a specific reference. So Rika's father is a music teacher. It is a profession. What's implied? Teaching is implied in the word teacher. You don't want to have your pronoun refer to an implied noun. Go ahead and put that noun out there. In Dr. Patel's study of thermal sensation, she. Now, the pronoun is she. And you think, well, it refers to Dr. Patel. But look closely at the sentence. The noun Dr. Patel does not exist in this sentence. The possessive adjective Dr. Patel's exist. Dr. Patel's study the she could refer to somebody else who was reading Dr. Patel's study. So you have to go ahead and make those antecedents specific. In her study of thermal sensation, Dr. Patel focuses on. So here the pronoun her can refer forward to a specific antecedent, Dr. Patel. Broad reference. This one really does often stop readers dead in their tracks. This, that, which, and it are the most common ones and occurs whenever you attempt to use those words to refer back to the entire idea that is implied in the sentence. Let's take a look. With advertising, pharmaceutical companies gain exposure for their drugs. Patients respond to this. What does this refer to? The advertising, the exposure, the whole strategy? That's probably what is meant there. So this cannot refer to the idea or action implied. With advertising, farmer to gain exposure, put it respond to the ads, to the exposure, to the strategy. You have to figure out what you meant by this and make it specific. The newlyweds were too young to have acquired much wisdom. And that, does that refer to their youth? Does it refer to their lack of wisdom? Does it refer to both? Don't know. Broad reference. So you have to go ahead and make it specific. A fact that. Now, a fact can indeed be a summary of the previous statement. All right, well, thanks for watching. And for the other videos on the other five deadly eras, please check out this playlist right here.